S3 Intelligent Tiering Storage class automatically moves objects into different storage tiers to reduce storage costs, but charge a low month cost for object monitoring and automation. So the idea is that you can choose a storage class um, via the API or via the console, and by default, it will go into um, the frequent access tier. Notice that it says automatic, meaning that these things are turned on automatically, and as soon as it's in here, this all these rules will start applying. So it's kind of like having lifecycle rules, but it automatically happens for you, and you don't have to uh, configure anything. I guess that's kind of what it is. So again, you know, frequent access tier is the default tier. You can think of it as S3 standard. Objects, gonna, objects are going to remain in here as long as you are accessing them. If you do not touch them for 30 days, they're going to get moved into infrequent access tier. This is standard IA. Uh, if you don't touch them for 90 days, it's going to be moved into archive instance access tier. This is that S3 Glacier instant retrieval. Now there's the uh, two other tiers. We have the archive access tier. This is the S3 Glacier flexible tier. And the idea is that when you turn this on, instead of going to instant, it's gonna go here instead. Uh, after 90 days, you're gonna get greater savings. And there's more options to configure in terms of retention, other stuff there. But the point is, is that after 90 days, it'll go here instead, you'll save more money. Um, you can also turn on or activate deep, deep archive access. So after 180 days, it'll go here and you'll keep saving money. Uh, again, I want to point out that S3 Intelligent Tiering has additional cost to analyze your objects for at least 30 days, because if it hasn't had access for 30 days, it would never move it into the in infrequent access tier. Um, but anyway, the point is, it's turned on, there's that additional cost, and then there's obviously the cost of those tiers that you normally would have, and you can pretty much map them to what they're supposed to go to, okay?